Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Dan Blazers official YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share this video to others. Actually, today we are going to talk about the ongoing World War Three between US and Iran. Yeah, there's a post here saying, let us be honest. What United States does not know about Iran? Today, U.S. President Trump is boasting of having the greatest military in the world to defeat Iran or any nation. This could be true, but it is not without prophetic backing of God. And it is natural that sometimes we do certain things or attain certain positions in life without knowing that the hand of God is upon us as destined. So it's true of U.S. greatness in the world. It has become a slogan today. U.S. is the greatest. In agreement to Trump's political manifesto of make America great again. What the U.S. does not know is that Iran was once a powerful and great nature in the world. According to God's order, approval of all power that rule the world recognized as world war as world kingdoms slash empires slash government. God revealed that through the prophet Daniel, the first being King Nebuchadnezzar of Iraq, Daniel chapter 2, verse 37 to 38. Second is King Darius of Iran, Daniel chapter 5, verse 31. The third is Caesar Augustus of Rome, Luke chapter 2, verse 1. And the fourth President Ford is President Roosevelt of America in 1945 with the formation of UN government, which Prophet Daniel called the Ford Kingdom, whose military power is second to none, a breaker of the earth in pieces, thereby describing nuclear power of American UN over the three before R. Daniel chapter 2, verse 40. The, then the political composition as democratic unity in diversity and a veto power right among the five higher nuclear nations and the kingdom life or culture Olympic Daniel tattoo was for the This is it that as far as God is concerned, they have furnished a recognized and ordained to rule the world in the appointment time in this order. Iraq, Iran, Rome. America. What America does not know, America does not know that she is not the first nation to be the, to be great in the world. Iraq was followed by Iran and Rome. Then she is the fourth in the mind of God. Again, America does not know that God has ordained ten world power with nuclear to emerge during our goodness, and ten and the ten hours. Out of, out of the kingdoms are ten kings shall arise. Daniel chapter 7, verse 24. Referring to the nuclear age world, kingdom government, formerly called the UN of American leadership, Daniel chapter 4, verse 23 to 24. Daniel predicted the rise of ten nuclear power nations. Trump of America may not know that nine nuclear power nations have emerged, but who is the tenth? Is now what power nation Iran of all of old is seeking to fill this gap. Probably God ordained it so, but US is saying no. Iran struggles to occupy the ten position. America shall let Iran alone. America should let Iran alone. This is like the Council of Gamalin to the Council of the Pharisees saying, And now I say unto you, referring from those men. And let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of man, it will come to naught. But if it is of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest you be found even to fight against God. The council agree with Camille Counseling and make peace with the disciples in the name of Jesus. America shall, America shall make peace with Iran, not war, because they do not know whether their quest to be the tenth one nuclear nation is of God or not. This has, this has divine connection with the rapture program of God. America does not know 
that the fulfillment of ten nuclear missions in the world as a divine connection to God's rapture agenda, which is the game changer in the world. Ten kings, open bracket, president slash nuclear power nation, close bracket, shall arise and another shall arise after them, and shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. Daniel chapter 7 verse 24. The, f the rise of another among the ten believe to be Russia who shall go to a nuclear warfare to warfare of subduing three nuclear war. Power nation in alliance with Iran, Ethiopia and Libya. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 5. If you are here already, please kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment and share this video. This is the last word word that is revealed to John Revelation. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, as the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Looking at the Pentecostal church at Philadelphia, he said, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to keep them from the hour of nuclear. With <coughs> Warfare upon the earth means the event of rapture or the appearance of all that believe in Jesus Christ as written in Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9 to 10. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for all that, whether we wake or sleep, we should live with him together forever. This that means that the only way of escape. From the scorch of nuclear war, as soon as the ten nuclear missions emerge and rapture and raptures take place, all in God's program is to believe now that Jesus died for your sins, buried, resurrected from the dead after three days, and that today he is alive as a spirit man ready to come into your life. If you believe in him, and I ask you a simple question of great importance in your life: Do you believe in Jesus? Is his spirit in your heart? How do you know? Do you see a change lifestyle since you believed? Do you speak in other tongue as evidence? Think of all these questions if you are not sure. You can experience Jesus now by simply city of prayer of faith with me. Say after me. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. Forgive me my sins. I believe in Jesus Christ and I commit my life to him from today. Jesus come into my heart. Save my soul. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. Now that you are saved, do the following assignment. Read Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. John chapter 5 verse 39. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, 3, 14 to 17. And so on and so forth. God bless you. Kindly subscribe to this channel.